Bismillah. Hello, this class we shall develop a VC++ application to draw a line for a mouse movement. You can see that I am moving the mouse with my left button down. Therefore, it draws a line. And here I release, therefore no line is drawn. And for the mouse movement, when the left button is down, we are drawing a line. Let us see how to develop this application. So I select a file, I close all these things. Okay, file, new, and application wizard. Therefore, this one I call it as a line draw, as a uh, project name, and go. Oh, so the workspace already contains that, but I will take one more thing, say, um, draw line. Draw line, okay. Now this is a single document interface, finish, or oh. Right, you can see that for a SDA application, there are four classes that are generated. One is the application class, which is the total application. Within the application, we have the main frame window. Within the main frame window, we have the view class. And whatever we write inside the view class is the document class. Okay. Now, everything what we are working is the view class. In order to draw a line, we require a point whenever a button is clicked. Therefore, here in the view class, I right click and I add a variable of type C point of the variable I call it as from point. Okay, then you can see that in the variable in the class view class, a variable is created of type point class. I want a device context also, so class to a device context is a pointer pointer to a device constant. This is another variable. And I want to draw a line whenever the button is down. Therefore, I take one more variable of boolean type button down, whether it is true or false, which can take either true or false. All right. Then I go to the class wizard. In here, I select the view class and the view object whenever the left button moves. Whenever the left button move, we have to draw a line and whenever the left button is uh, down, we have to start drawing the line and whenever the left button is up, we have to start drawing the line. Therefore, these are the three events I have selected and you can see that these three messages are added here. Therefore, whenever the left button is uh, down, then what I do is this one, my from point, sorry, this uh, button down is becomes uh, true and my from point becomes whatever point is this one this point it becomes the from front point from where the line is to be drawn therefore this is point okay whenever the mouse button is released then the mouse button up then my button down becomes a false okay. whenever the mouse gets a move whenever the mouse is moving then what shall we do is we shall get the pointer to a device context is equal to get device context that is i get the address of the screen address of the device and pdc i move to which point the from point from point and in pdc we draw a line line to which point this one this is the point okay now here you can see if it is funny thing now if I save everything and if I build and you can see that there are no errors and if I run the application you can see that the, the here from this is the from point and wherever I move the mouse the line is a drum suppose if I click here now that becomes the front point from point and the line is done if I click here left button down now this becomes the front point and wherever I go the line is a drawn to that point but this is not we want therefore i close the application and here after drawing the line after drawing the line this point should become my front point therefore my front point becomes this point okay now if i save build and run the application now you can see that m for the mouse move event a line is drawn by default this line is drawn in black color that is it is using the default pen and second thing is i am not using the left button down my button is not down simply i am moving the mouse then also the line is drawn 
therefore I want that it should be drawn only if the button is uh, down therefore I say if the button is uh, down then only you draw the line otherwise do not draw the line then in this case what happens is in now build and run now first time it is true therefore a line is drawn now here see that I have not pressed the left button but I am moving line is not drawn here I press and then go a line is drawn so this is what we wanted now let us change the pen color now the default the pen color is a black therefore we can we can use a few points here now we can create a pen by c pen i call it as my pen and i use the pen style pen style solid this is one attribute and how many pixels suppose i want 10 pixels and which color i want i want the rgb color this one is equal to 255 is red and no green component no blue component and we close this now even though i have created the pen and now if i run then also my default pen color is only black why it is so because we created the pen but we have not used that pen therefore in the device context you select that object which object what is the object you created you created the my pen object therefore now every drawing will be based on the pen which you selected now let us build and now let us run now see that now my color pixel is equal to 10 therefore it is thick and uh, the color the is uh, the, the thickness is equal to 10 pixels now a line is drawn suppose if i want a blue color only thing is here you make the red component is equal to zero and uh, green component is zero and blue component you make it as 255 and again build the application and run now you can see that uh, my blue pen with thickness of 10 a line is drawn when the mouse button is held down and when the left button is released my button down becomes false therefore the line is not drawn here the line is drawn okay so this is a simple application to demonstrate uh, how to draw a line in a visual c++ application here we came across many things one what is a how to use a built-in object the pen and what is a device context and what is a move to and what is a line okay hope we shall see you in the next class and uh, if you have any queries and please uh, email me uh, hfahimahamad.com thank you so much